Isn't a shame that you aren't getting all the results you could from the hard work you put in the gym alongside with the effort of eating clean just because you didn't give your body enough time to rest? Studies show that over 75% of muscle growth, meaning hypertrophy, happens after workout and the majority of that is during sleep. Stay until the end because I will go through all the aspects that need your attention more in order to get a better sleep at night. Just think about it, you've broken your muscle fibers, got all the nutrients in to repair them and build even more and now when your whole body slows down and doesn't have any external factors to worry about or any activity to do besides taking care of itself, you disrupt this process with insufficient rest periods and poor sleeping hygiene. Lack of sleep also makes us overeat and build fat because it decreases the levels of the hormone leptin that is in charge of our feeling of fullness and increases the levels of the hormone ghrelin that controls our appetite. And when we are tired, we won't reach for healthy foods, but instead for the sugar-loaded ones that give us a quick energy boost. And that's not all. Not having enough rest time greatly impacts our brain also, by making us have shorter attention span, diminished motor skills, reduced decision-making skills, slow reaction time, poor memory and poor concentration. Due to all these effects, we are more likely of making a mistake or sustaining an injury in the gym. So how do we avoid being poor sleepers? First, we need to get in the optimal hours of sleep according to our age and physical activity. A study from 2015 agreed that for healthy individuals, the appropriate sleep duration for teenagers is from 8 to 10 hours, for younger adults 7 to 9 hours and 7 to 8 hours for older adults. Individuals with frequent physical training done at a high intensity need to aim for the higher end as opposed to people who let's say hit the gym only 3-4 to four days a week who can go for the medium or the lower end. A generally valid assumption is that individuals obtain the right amounts of sleep if they wake up feeling well rested and perform well during the day. The second thing that we need to take in consideration besides how much we sleep is how well we do it. Our environment and bedtime habits play a major role in how well we rest. From personal experience and research, I've gathered five most important habits that you need to develop in order to improve your quality of sleep. Going to bed and rising at the same time every day is one of the best practices for better sleep. Experts say that every hour slept before midnight is twice as valuable than one hour slept after midnight. And the theory that supports this claim is that for thousands of years people have went to bed when the sun came down and woke up before it went up. Only in the modern world more and more people are becoming night owls due to electricity and various devices that emit blue light. This bringing us to our next advice which is to avoid all electronics at least one hour before going to bed. And the reason is that the blue light these gadgets like TVs, laptops or mobile phones emit is similar in wavelength to the natural light and will trick your circadian rhythm into believing that it's actual daylight. Also, to be sure you will fall asleep faster, you can practice relaxation techniques like writing a journal or a to-do list because getting thoughts out of your head and on paper will stop you from overthinking about them. Another relaxation technique proven in a study done in 2017 is to do a warm shower before going to bed as it improves the thermoregulatory changes that happen to our body before we fall asleep. As bedtime approaches, your body temperature decreases, so another advice that will help you fall asleep faster will be to maintain a room temperature between 18 to 22 degrees Celsius or 60 to 67 degrees Fahrenheit. And finally, if you are waking up with back pain or overall tired, it's a sign that you need to change your bed immediately. As for the pillow, if you are constantly readjusting it before going to sleep, it may be time to get a new one or try to sleep without it. When I look at my daily routine a few years back, I can relate to many of the bad habits explained earlier and I'm so happy that I've taken sleeping more seriously because it makes all the difference in the world. If you want to see some serious gains, you have to take sleeping seriously. My name is Mihail, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you want to see my future uploads. I hope I see you in the next one.